Welcome back, guys. So our Father wants me to touch on this with you guys as well as touching on it with your family, your children, those of you that you are still in communication with, uh, if he has separated you from some of your family members, okay? This is Galatians chapter 5, and we are reading from uh, verses 16 through wherever he has me stop. So let's get started. <laughs> Living by the Spirit's power. So I say... Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of moses when you follow the desires of your sinful nature the results are very clear sexual immorality impurity lustful pleasures idolatry sorcery hostility quarreling jealousy outbursts of anger selfish ambition dissension division envy drunkenness wild parties and other sins like these let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong in Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another to be jealous of one another. Or be jealous of one another. I'm adding that part. So anyway... The Holy Spirit is very adamant about us knowing the fruits of the Spirit and operating in the fruits of the Spirit in our daily lives because it is so imperative and important to uh, the characteristics of a child of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for rounding that off. Um, so when you are going about your daily life, make sure that you are operating in the fruits of the Spirit. This is the cheat code for his believers, his children. You will know them by their fruits, okay? That's scripture. These are the fruits that he's referring to when he says you will know them by their fruits. If they don't possess love, joy, peace, kindness, uh, self-control, all of these fruits of the spirit, they're not of him. And this is how you test people's spirits like me and other messengers, you know, that are doing um, videos or pastors or whatever the case this is how you test their spirit because he says to test every spirit okay so make sure that you know the plan the rubric for how to move in his kingdom as a kingdom citizen guys because when you give him your yes you transfer your citizenship over from worldly citizenship or satan's matrix over to kingdom citizenship the kingdom his kingdom okay so I pray that this helps. I pray that I got this message across the proper way, the way he wanted me to. And I pray that this message, which I know it already will, because he's a sovereign king, reach the people that it's supposed to reach. Okay, guys, peace and blessings.